everyone, welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is cycle two, week three, science. For everyone else, that just means that we are going to be talking about the three consumers in ecology. So, before we get started, go ahead and head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. Grab your workbooks there. Those workbooks um, help supplement each of these videos, help dive deeper into each of the topics that are presented. Um, there's four worksheets per week per subject. So again, that's doodlingthrougheducation.com. There's a link in the description if you need it. Now, without further ado, let's start doodling. Today, we are going to talk about the three types of consumers in ecology. But first, let's talk about ecosystems. What is an ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem is made up of all the living things in an area. This includes all of the plants and animals that make up the community of life in that area. It can also include non-living materials. For example, the type of soil or sand and rocks and can even include the water. So last week we talked about biomes and you may be wondering what's the difference between a biome and an ecosystem? Well, a biome covers a large geographic area, whereas an ecosystem is a much smaller community of those living organisms that interact with their physical or non-living environment, like the rocks, soil, sand, and water that I mentioned make up an ecosystem as well as the living things. So now that we know that, we also need to know that each living thing in an ecosystem has a very important role to play in a food chain. There are producers, consumers, and decomposers. We are going to talk about producers and decomposers a bit in next week's video. So for now, you just need to know that most plants are producers because they make their own food through photosynthesis. And decomposers are living things that cause decay and break down the waste products and dead tissues of plants and animals. These decomposers return nutrients to the soil and this helps new plants to grow. But today we're specifically going to talk about consumers. Animals, including humans, are all consumers. They eat or consume other animals and plants for their energy. They cannot produce their own energy, but they do need energy and use it. Now, within the category of consumers, there are three different types. Let's dive into those types now. The first type of consumer is a primary consumer, and this includes all the herbivores or animals that just eat plants. Herbivores survive primarily off of plants, and these consumers can come in a variety of shapes and sizes. So examples of primary consumers or herbivores can include butterflies, rabbits, giraffes, snails, elephants, mice, and deer. 
Now let's move on to the second type of consumer and these are called secondary consumers. Secondary consumers can be both carnivores and omnivores. Carnivores eat primarily meat for their energy. They rely on other animals and consuming them for energy and survival. Whereas omnivores are a little different because they rely on both plants and animals for their energy. So they will eat plants as well as meat. Some examples of secondary consumers include spiders, snakes, bears, eagles, wolves, and rats. Last up are tertiary consumers. Tertiary consumers are animals that survive primarily by preying on primary and secondary consumers. And due to this, they are often considered to be apex predators, which means that they are at the top of the food chain and have no natural predators that rely on them for survival. Tertiary consumers mainly include carnivores, but as you'll see in the examples, there are some omnivores in this too. Examples of tertiary consumers include humans, and that's why I said they aren't all carnivores because humans are omnivores. Lions, tigers, crocodiles, and sharks. And that's all we have for today. I hope you learned a lot about the three different types of consumers, um, as well as some examples in each of those categories. Grab your workbooks um, this week and do those four pages to dive deeper into the, uh, the different types of consumers in ecology. I think those will be very helpful for this week. Again, you can grab them at doodlingthrougheducation.com. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.